Hello everyone, you're welcome to my channel and in this video we'll be learning how to create the pause uh, feature in our game. So we want to be able to pause our game by pressing the escape key and being able to play it again uh, when the option comes up um, in the interface that does uh, a sort of display for the pause. We can be able to click on the button and play our game again. So right now to do that, uh, I have created um, this particular post so this is created using a node 2d and a color right and a label for the text and a button so for continue here all right so um, this is just basically what we're going to be using so right now uh, i've made this uh, thing here to be a bit uh, transparent if you click on the color right um, you can click on it and you have uh, this alpha so i just reduce the alpha the alpha was here and i have to just reduce it a bit so that when it displays over the, the game it will be a bit transparent you can see through it so right now to be able to do that you can you have to instantiate on the scene that you want so i'm using this level here so i'm going to go over to my level one here and i'm going to instantiate uh, the chart and the name is pause I'm going to click on pause. So right now you're going to see uh, the pause uh, appearing over here. So. All right, so we'll have the, the, the node 2D. So I'm going to just call this my pause. Okay, so I have this the pause thing here and that's this particular one. So we want it to be able to display over uh, the scene whenever uh, this happens. So I'm just going to quickly save that. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to just turn this off for the meantime. I'm going to turn it on later. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add uh, a control here. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to add a script. And like we always do, our orchestrator and we'll have the pause. So I'm going to make sure that um, it's inside my scripts. I'll go to my scripts and I have my pause and click on open and actually save that, you know, create it. So when I create it, the first thing I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to make it to disappear whenever, whenever I create, because this right now, I'm gonna make it to disappear because right now, if you look over here, it's appearing here, okay? So we want it to be actually invisible, okay? So um, when we do that, see what we're going to do right now. I'm going to just go ahead to go back to my orchestrator script and I'm going to start with the process. So when I go to my process, that's the first thing I'm going to do. And I'm going to give it a condition that whenever the escape button is pressed, that I want it to pause the entire game, okay? and display this pause over. It should become visible on this particular scene. So I'm just gonna do that right now. So I will go ahead to drag this out and go for a branch. And for that branch, I'm just going to add an action. And that's input action then. And this action will be the escape. So I'm gonna click here and cancel. That's for escape, but, uh, escape key on the keyboard. So we're doing that for the keyboard right now. So I can just come in here and say, whenever this is pressed, we want you to um, change something. So I'm gonna right click here and I'm gonna type scene. So we want uh, the entire scene to uh, be paused. So I'm gonna just get that. And when I do that, I can be able to drag this out and go for a pause. So if you look at here, we'll have a call set uh, pause. Uh, so we can be able to actually call set pause. So we can be able to set it to be pause. So I'm going to just click on that and uh, put this here. And I'm going to put this as my targets. And um, the next thing I want to do is to set this guy. So I'm going to click on him and go to visibility, go back to orchestrator and look at visibility. Right now it's actually um, turned on because I made it invisible. You can click on this and say set visible and you can put this here, right? So once you do that, you want to turn this on so that it becomes visible and the 
set pause, you have to enable it so it actually pauses the entire game. So right now, if you do this, uh, what will happen is that the game can, um, everything will be paused, including this particular thing. You can't even play it again. So for you to be able to uh, make this uh, not to be affected, the pause button here, the pause um, uh, node, okay? So I'm going to just go into uh, the post scene. Okay, let me use that as a post scene. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to go down to this place. You go to process. Okay, this is very important. If you don't do this, you will post your game, but you can't play your game again. So you click on this and you can just do um, always. Okay, so it's, you're telling that it should always be on. Okay, even when you pause the game, this guy should always be on all the time. Okay. So um, the thing you're going to do right now is uh, go ahead to test your game. So we're going to just um, do that. So I forgot to turn on my um, thing here. So but right now you can be able to move. And once you press escape, the pause comes up and you can't do anything. I'm trying to press my keyboard, but it's no more working. So I'm going to just close that. Uh, let me just go back to this my box and turn on the animation so that next time we're testing the animation is going to be playing. So we'll have that. So it's actually moving right now. So uh, let's go ahead to work on the the button so we can actually be able to play our game again because right now we can't play the game once we pause it because there is no option for that. So right now I will right click here and I'll make this editable children. So I want to be able to have access to this button here. So when I click on the button here, I'm going to call this, um, um, I'm going to just, so it has the continue thing here. So I'll go to my node here and I'll go to button pressed. Okay. Now this button pressed, I'm going to link it to my post um, script. And I'm going to click on connect, <clears throat> go down to where I have my post. So look at the post there. And you said on um, bottom press, I will say on um, play. Let's do the again play underscore bottom press. So I'm going to connect it. So right now you see that uh, this place will have this. It's where you're going to have that again. So I'm just quickly going to close this part. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to come up, up here and um, I'll write uh, the next code. So I will right click and get my scene again. So scene tree and I will drag it out and I'll go for a pause again. And this time I'm still going to be using that pause and I'll connect this to this and that to that. So right now is uh, not clicked means uh, no, that's I'm setting it to be negative. Okay. So whenever I press that, it sets it to be negative. And the next one I want to be able to do is to set this to become visible. Okay. So um, you can just simply duplicate this here and just bring it down. So you're going to set this guy to become um, invisible. So right now, whenever I press this button, it says the, it's, it makes the game to begin to, uh, to play again. That means the boss will become unenabled so that means it will start playing and then that pause scene will become uh, invisible again so we can be able to do that right uh, like that so let's just test out the game again so right now if you play you can be able to move around and once you press your escape the game is paused you click on continue plays again so you have that so you have post and then play basically everything about this is that you can be able to um, play your game and be able to post your game and you know continue whenever you actually want okay so that's uh, basically how to work with this here and uh, i hope you love the tutorial and if you like it uh, do subscribe to my channel like the video and share with people who want to create a complete game inside of guru engine using the visual scripting feature and if you have any question, you can put that in the comments below and I'll see you in the next tutorial.